Hey everybody, I'm going to do a quick uh, YouTube video today on boss zombies and how they spawn in the multiplayer zombie survival template. So, uh, first you need to know about how the zones work for the project. I have a YouTube video on explaining how the zone system works. It's really easy and straightforward. You just have to make sure things are named correctly. But I recommend watching this tutorial first if you don't know how the zones work. And then come back to this one. So, uh, to start this video off, what you do is you go to HGT, Asia Zombie, Boss, and there is a boss zone, a boss spawn zone blueprint. You just simply drag it into the level. And then in the details panel over here, the, uh, there's a, a, a value called zone name. And basically you just put the zone name that you're in. So in this case, it's called start zone. So in this one, you see I have start underscore zone. Because this room right here is called the start zone. So you would simply put that in here. Start zone. You have to make sure it's spelled correctly and exactly like it's supposed to be. Spelled exactly right. Alright, and then you can just place it wherever you want. And uh, so as you can see in this uh, zone, the start zone, I have actually three spots. One, two, three. And the way the boss or the game mode determines where to spawn the boss is if it's a boss round it'll take all of these spawn points and then just pick a random one and uh, spawn it there it may yeah that's what it does but what it does it also has like a backup so say uh, you named this one start zone uh, but you spelled zone wrong you put zone spelled with an a zona or something just a typo uh, if you did something like that and then you accidentally did it on all of them then it's not going to pick up the zone and then it's not going to be able to find the correct name so my backup check is it'll take a normal spawn zone see this is a normal zombie spawn zone spawner and it's set correct and it'll just spawn the boss there instead so that's the uh, backup in order to try to prevent any kind of bad things that would happen because what would happen is you make a typo in these boss round comes at wave like four or something like that and no boss spawns up and you'd be like hey where's where's the boss he's supposed to be here and this way he should spawn over there with the normal zombies so let's just uh... let me show you how you do that in the game mode we'll go over to game mode so it's inside of HCT core blueprints um, gameplay it's called Gameplay GM for game mode. And on the left hand side of the blueprint here, you scroll down to variables, and then there's a section called variables to edit. You drop that down, and these are the variables that you can edit easily without messing anything up. So the first one here is called boss round. I think by default it's set to four. For testing purposes, we'll set it to one. So the boss will spawn on wave one and then down here we have boss character this is the actual boss uh, character that's going to spawn so right now I have it set to boss zombie you could change it to anything that you want if you set up a different boss or anything but I'm just going to use this uh, boss zombie that I have by default so that's what's going to spawn uh, some other variables we have here is the minimum wave until the next boss in the maximum wave until the next boss pretty self-explanatory what those are but basically uh, it'll just wait between two and three waves until it spawns the boss again so if the boss spawns on wave one then it won't spawn again until uh, wave three or wave four so you can adjust those values to you want if you want the boss to spawn earlier or later. It just picks a random value between these two. Um, I think that it covers how the boss spawns. Uh, let me just tell you real quick or show you how the actual boss zombie is set up. So the way I did the boss zombie is he's just a child of the base zombie as you can see up here in the top right. The parent is base zombie. So base zombie is just a normal zombie. And he has all of this logic in, the, in base zombie for tracking the player, uh, counting towards wave, the wave number, um, 
It sets his health and his speed and all that. Say, let's say you don't want some of that stuff for um, the boss zombie. For instance, you don't want the boss zombie to have the same health as a normal zombie. You want the boss zombie to be stronger. So what you got to do is you come into the event graph and you can override any of the events that are in the base zombie. So for example, there's an event here called zombie health calculation. And what it does is set the health of the zombie based on what wave it is and how many players are in the game. So you don't really want to do that for a, a boss zombie. So maybe you just want like a hard set big value for the boss. So what you would do is you take this name, zombie health calculation, you come over here and you just type that in. You right click and you type zombie health calculation and then you just add the event. So now instead of running this logic in the base zombie, it's going to run this zombie in the boss zombie. So you can either, I'm just going to leave it blank. So if you leave it blank, it won't run this and it'll just not run anything over here. Then you can simply just uh, change his health value in the class defaults. And you can see here I've set his health to like 15,000. So that's how you can do that. You can do that for like any event. So say there's one for uh, zombie speed. So instead of setting the speed of the zombie, like right now the speed, uh, he's set to walk in if it's on a low round, and he's set to run on higher rounds. Maybe you want to make the zombie, the boss zombie, run all the time, make him really fast. You can come in here and override that one by typing zombie speed. You add the event. Now instead of uh, instead of doing this logic, it's going to do whatever logic you put in here, which in this case I'm just going to leave blank. If you leave it blank, nothing will happen. You can come up here to character movement for the boss zombie. You can set all of these values for his walk speed, run speed, all of this. And it'll use these values. So it's easier to uh, tweak your boss zombie that way. Um, so that's how that works. Now let's go see if it actually works in the game. So right now he should have a lot of health. And I believe, I'm, let's see, uh, what is this? walk speed 500 so he should be pretty fast too so let's go in the game and see what happens and also remember so I changed these spawn points to the wrong name so in theory if it works right the boss shouldn't spawn here and it should spawn over here on the normal spawn point since I screwed up the names on purpose so let's see what happens so I'll come in here it's wave one Boss zombie, boss zombie should be popping up. There he is. As you can see, he's running really fast, and he should have a bunch of health. Yep. All right. <laughs> All right. So that that's uh, how the boss uh, is set up by default. Uh, we can go back and change some stuff. Change this back to start zone. Change this back to start zone. So that way it'll actually spawn at those points. But as you can see, by having that a backup check in the game mode that I put in there for you guys, uh, it'll, in case something like if you screwed up the names, then the boss will still spawn over there. So just trying to help you guys out, make it as easy as possible. And as I know there's typos and stuff happens, I do it all the time. Sometimes it just happens. So trying to make it as foolproof as possible um, I think that just about covers it so yeah just to recap all you have to do is just go into the gameplay game mode and you can change your boss character here to whatever you want uh, and you can change the values here for what the round you want the boss to spawn on all that and you can come into your boss zombie and change the looks of him on the uh, override events to make them do anything else you want them to do and yep that's it so uh thanks for watching that was another quick tutorial make sure you check out my other tutorial videos and uh yep that's about it thanks